This is the new life in UK. Organize your best friend. my youtube channel my name is ella the owner of this channel <laughs> please feel free to like and subscribe and enjoy today's vlog today is going to be my official day one start of welcome week at university of birmingham my program is the llb for graduates program and i have a whole lot of things packed on my schedule today so I'll be on campus from what morning time until about 5, 6 p.m. I have things back to back to back to do. And obviously together, once again, we'll go on the journey. I'll show you what I'm doing, how I'm settling in, how the orientation slash welcome week is going. I might also finalize um, getting my transportation system sorted out, like the rail, transit, and whatever, all those things. Get my bank um, kind of sorted out today. And yeah, I'll take you all through this process. It's my first time experiencing it. And it might be your first time too, virtually experiencing it with me. So um, feel free and let's come together on the right. My nails are so short, like I can't remember last time I had my nails this short. But anyways, let's go, let's go. Out here to get my train ticket for today. So the train station and then this nice guy helped me out for my old tickets travel. So I got one for one week of travel so I don't have to keep coming here every single day and yeah we'll see how it goes we need to get to school before 11 a.m. it's currently 10 28 I'm gonna miss a 10 30 train so I'll probably get on the 10 45 one <laughs> and it's a six minute ride so yeah event like a pro that I've done it this is my second time coming here <laughs> university of Birmingham <laughs> center Ooh. power makes noises at every hour so now it's 11 a.m and you can hear it I was here on Saturday this must be the law event. But I'll be right back. To the low marquee. I'm going for the meets the bank event first before I come back here. And yeah. Let's get together. I should have really brought my vlogging stick. I'm gonna cut the chase and head this way. Oh. Where the banks event is going on, but this is Bramo. So, thanks to the person that gave the tour, I was able to find it yesterday or two days ago. Thank you, yeah. The banks event moved to the Great Hall, so I was here on Saturday and I'm here again today. Let's go find them. This is the first bank I'm seeing. I don't see, I saw Bank of China, but I'm not doing that. So, let's see. Might be a good sign. He's asking questions for HSBC. They seem to be the only bank there, Bank of China. Talked to the lady at the front desk of the Great Hall called Olivia. And she said she banks with Santander and um, Lloyd Santander for the student account. She's British, obviously, so she doesn't really know much about the international student offers or if it would be a great choice, but. In her experience, she's had a good experience with Santander and Lloyd's, and they're both, you know, kind of paperless banks, so they're moving statements to online. Lloyd's has a physical um, bank that you can walk into, but I don't know about that Santander or whatever. Uh, and Lloyd's won't be coming today for the Meet the Banks event, so maybe I might go with HSBC since I've been able to physically ask them questions, or I might go with Santander. That one's more online. I don't know how I 
feel it. There's no physical bank for me to go to, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Um, the people I spoke with that were law students, or currently law students from Canada at like a Zoom meeting, both say they use HSBC, and HSBC is also in Canada as well. So maybe I might just follow the Canadians and do the HSBC too. Um, I'll keep updating you all. So it's currently 11 17 a.m., and my first law event is starting at 12 p.m. I haven't had breakfast yet, so we'll see how that goes. I'm sure that these people are doing a tour. These guys, that's how I was on Saturday, did the tour around the whole place. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll get breakfast from here. It looks really cute. It's really, really cute. Oh, okay. Iced coffee frappe. It looks so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Having hot chocolate and cream and Nutella waffle. These are so pretty. So That's going to be my breakfast. Breakfast. Eight pounds. More expensive than the boring market breakfast. I'm using the cup with my hot chocolate inside as a standing. Mmm. Reminds me of a similar thing I used to get at York University while I was a student there in Canada. That's hot. It's 11.30. Maybe the bell actually rings every 30 minutes. I thought it was every hour. That's the well-being marquee. I'm on my way to my first live and this is the lineup for student ID and BRP today. Thank God I got mine over the weekend. <sighs> Preparation and planning is great. Okay, so this is the teaching and learning building and I'm gonna go there now. My umbrella is flying. This umbrella better not fly. This is the new life in UK. Umbrella is your best friend. Or wrinkles. Okay, so this is the first one. Everyone is coming in for the event. Nice. No. Okay, so this is like the uh, like you guys can get drinks and 
like the it looks so nice so we're going out now to the next event we can go straight across yeah Tag that you take out of the bag yeah. and that just activates it. Yeah. Okay. That's and with that's this as well, pull that out of the bag. Uh, that will sound that alarm constantly until you place it back inside. Good. Yeah, so it's really handy. Safety. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey y'all. So I've just got out of New Street train station. My activities for the day has ended, it's 3 47. So I'm heading back home to do a lot of fixing in my apartment. My stovetop, which is called an induction hub, is not working. So I'm gonna try and fix that up and get food to eat. Catch you later. Hey fam, little update here. I got back about an hour ago. Got on the phone with Lloyd's Bank since I didn't see. Their physical why am i looking sweaty but i'm not sweating no i'm just shiny <laughs> got on call with their with the bank lloyd's bank and hsbc asked a couple of more questions um i'm really really hungry so after searching for different restaurants from mexican restaurants to korean vietnamese all in the area they are all in the area but some restaurants only accept card payments so i felt like eating fajitas the mexican restaurant i found only accept cash pay card payments. So today I'm going to settle for um, butter chicken. Butter chicken is, was my next craving after fajitas. And the Indian restaurant I called up I was a few minutes away. They accept cash payments. So I'm so happy. I don't have a bank account yet. So I will be using my Canadian bank account or a bank card if I had to pay with cash, which is really not nice. The exchange rate is pretty high. So we'll go together for dinner, have some nice butter chicken, rice, naan bread, and all that good stuff. Um, and after that, that will be, probably be the end of my day. I don't know, I'm going to try to fix up some things at uh, my apartment. Like my stove is not working yet, which is why I'm still going out to eat and spending lots of money. But it's pretty good to also have a chance to try out other foods in the area as well. So... Let's go together. So this is the Indian restaurant I'm trying out today. Land sales, let's go see. Licensed Indian cuisine. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Beautiful experience. You're so friendly and chatty. It's really nice. I'm super full. This is officially my first meal of today. To go. I met the owner of the restaurant. His family has owned this business since 1966. From his dad to him. So nice. So nice. That's him. That's him. This is the man. This is my to-go box. Everything's in there. <laughs> 